இன்னைக்கு நம்மிடையே வந்திருப்பவர் கலாக்ஷேத்ராவின் டிரெக்டர் லீலா சாம்சன் அவர்கள் நமஸ்காரம் நமஸ்காரம் நான் இப்போ இன்ட்ரடக்ஷனில் சொன்னேன் கலாக்ஷேத்ராவின் டிரெக்டர் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி அதுதான் இப்போது ஸ்பெக்குலேட்டிவாக இருக்குது ஏன்னா கலாக்ஷேத்ராவில் நீங்கள் வந்தது வந்து ஒரு நலிஞ்சு இருக்கிற சமயத்தில் கலாக்ஷேத்ரா வந்து ரொம்ப ஹீனமாக இருக்கிற சமயத்தில் நீங்கள் வந்து அதில் பல மாற்றங்களை தந்து அது இன்றைக்கி எந்த ஸ்டேஜில் இருக்கோ அதுக்கு உருவாக்கினதுக்கு முழு முழு முதற் காரணம் நீங்கள் அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் கண்டிப்பாக அதுதான் உண்மை அண்ட் இந்த ஒரு தருணத்தில் நீங்கள் வந்து நீங்கள் இங்கே இருக்கேளா இல்லையா அப்படிங்கிறது ஒரு பெரிய கொஷினாக இருக்குது அந்த சந்தேகத்தை நீங்கள் முதல்ல தீர்த்து வைக்கணும் சந்தேகமே இல்லை ஐ ஆம் நாட் டைரக்டர் அட் த ப்ரெசன்ட் மோமெண்ட் ஆஸ் ஆஃப் தேர்ட்டியத் ஏப்ரல் ஐ யூனோ ஐ ஐ எம் ஐ ஹவ் ரிலிங்க்விஷ்ட் ஆஃபீஸ் ஸோ அது நிஜம் மெனி பீப்புள் வில் டிஸ்அக்ரி வித் யூ தட் வென் யூ சே தட் கலாக்ஷேத்ரா வாஸ் நாட் இன் அ வெரி குட் வே ஐ திங்க் மெனி பீப்புள் அட் தட் டைம் ஃபெல்ட் தட் வாஸ் ஆல் ரைட் த வே இட் வாஸ் ஐ டிட் நாட் அக்ரி அண்ட் மெனி அதர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் அவுட் சைட் ஃபெல்ட் தட் கலாக்ஷேத்ரா வாஸ் இன் அ வெரி 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 டிப்ரெஸ் ஸ்டேட் வெரி பேட் மச் ஆஃப் இட் வாஸ் டியூ டு you know a union that had got formed i think artists should never get into areas where they have no knowledge mm. uh, starting a union and then aggravating feelings uh, is absolutely antithetical to what kalakshetra stood for its uh, ideals amma vand rukniyatte vand she would have been very very sad to have seen that phase mm. but it was a reality and uh, they did it they say for good reason um i am the kind of person who you know wanted to bring it uh, in some ways back to its old and the idealism and the or uh, uh, philosophical uh, uh, approach to education to teaching to learning uh, all the processes were very dedicated to a particular thought process அந்த அதெல்லாம் போயிடுச்சு ஆக்சுவலி ஸோ அது ஒரு பக்கம் இன்னொரு பக்கம் வந்து எனி இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் அண்ட் எனி இண்டிவிஜுவல் ஐ ஃபீல் ஹேஸ் டு மூவ் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஆல்சோ மெனி ஆஃப் மை அக்காஸ் அண்ட் அண்ணாஸ் வெரி ரெஸ்பெக்ட் வுட் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் அக்காஸ் அண்ட் அண்ணாஸ் இன் த ஃபீல்டு வா ஹியர் இன் சென்னை தே ஓன்லி வாண்ட் கலாக்ஷேத்ரா ஐ திங்க் டு பி வாட் இட் ஆல்வேஸ் வாஸ் ஃப்ரம் நைன்டீன் very nostalgic about that time and very nostalgic about the works produced at that time uh, but there are there, there is continuously a body of young people who are entering the institute avungaloda aspirations inna avungaloda you may say that ninga when the standards maathu kodadu adu and and the bani venana you should naturally you should uh, adhere to it but you cannot change progress it's a flow of a river and mm-hmm. it will go whichever direction it has to go in spite of us i am sort of now when the ip year versha ange i served there i feel i was caught between two generations mm-hmm. the my teachers and my uh, akas and annas on one side uh, wanting kalakshetra to but meanwhile they are all moving ahead mm-hmm. they are doing the american tours and they are Uh, creating new ballets but naanga vanda and edathile irukono apdi irukono samatha ukandrunu that is uh, i don't agree with the, with that approach an institute has to move forward and uh, there are many areas where we had not uh, even entered those forays um, research and documentation adala romba pana vendiyathu art department they had closed down which was totally unnecessary Uh, so there are many 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 aspects to an institution mm. and uh, we try to revive some we try to start some uh, new areas of discourse we try to um, update a certain curriculum and uh, syllabi so much more than uh, i should have done as a dancer i should have just kept doing my 
the learners in Varnos. <laughs> so I, it was a wonderful learning experience for me. And also dealing with government and other very new uh, aspect of uh, administration, which was, I was never, I never had to do it. I was a soloist, as you know. I was uh, very happy as a, as a soloist. You have your students, choreograph Panlam. Uh, you can um, be free to express yourself. In many ways, in the Madhuri Vura job, with the Madhuri Vura Edatla, Katti Puttu Madhuri, there is a feeling sometimes. And I don't like to be in that position of being tied up. Uh, and I like to be a little free. I think we have to be free in thought and in spirit. And then only, you know, you can... And I like people to come in. I like to interact with people. Adila... Even ex students coming in were insecurity. So we all have our faults. <laughs> That's one of our faults. <laughs> um, Tamil part of the famous part uh, Raja Sarp Mandina music. And the part of the Madai Tirande, Tavu Nadi Alai Nanachula. So, an uh, artist is uh, 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 a very good person. Of course, of course. No, he is a cage, 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 a cage. You see, as you, you know, even as you meet people, uh, you know technology. Technology is moving so far ahead. Can you, can you, uh, you know, Cap ignore it. it or say that it doesn't exist? Hmm. It's not possible. And it will affect the arts, it will affect education, it will affect your lives. Uh, you, you, even our elderly parents who never dealt with technology like this, but it has affected their lives, you know. So we as present generation and with our children who are the future, you can't ignore it and say it doesn't exist. It has nothing to do with the lights get better, sound gets better, uh, you know. Facilities, these things have to be constantly improved. And and I am very happy to know Kalakshetra Vapati. You have a lot of Matrangal air, you have a lot of Muerchi Panirkel, in fact, you have a sound, you have a lot of sound, infrastructure, I am very happy to know that you have a lot of Matrangal. Kondo and the Kelna Chile. Yen and the challenges Yirind the Yen and the Matrangala Ninga, Edithan or no more chipanina. I don't think you can call it Matrangal because, um, see, if I if uh, there are a whole lot of leaves on the ground uh, hmm. under a tree, there is also a lot of plastic and uh, sweet wrappers and paper there. Mm. Now, uh, you need not pick up the leaves, but you can definitely pick up the plastic and mm. the paper. So if that is matrangal, then I feel, you know, uh, this is just concern for your environment. And that exists in a classroom atmosphere, that exists in uh, the way a child is taught, the way that there's, you know, how the teachers will interact with each other. It's in every aspect. The little bit of, you know, cleaning up, little bit of um, new ideas coming in, flowing in. These are all necessary for change. Uh, so progress is, you know, is a very complex uh, term. Mm -hmm. uh, progress can be detrimental. Uh, preserving is also important. If, um, we, have, we are an institute which has a wonderful legacy. And and it can be part of your agenda, mm. uh, but it can't be your only agenda. Mm. Because even in that aspect, we had not, people before me had not uh, taken much care mm. uh, to revive, let us say, a 1940 dance drama. Uh, it had not been revived, so how can I do it in 2010? Mm. Uh, it is. It is. It was more possible 25 years ago mm. when uh, the others. There were others. There seniors there. Uh, whatever we can do in preserving Amma's uh, Amma's amazing chore choreography. Atthevande, I think Rukmini Atthe was uh, uh, arguably the the greatest choreographer of her time in mm. in the genre of dance dramas. 
uh, extremely well researched works extremely well uh, and the part la wood uh, and the madri you know stars uh, not stars the diamonds in the in the music firmament tiger sir uh, vasudeva acharya papanasan shivan ivungalella uh, varavechu or dance drama avanga kaiyila kudukacha it turned into a thing of beauty that was un- unbelievable uh, but you know somebody like you who's a young, uh, musician of our time you should have uh, uh, i feel you should have uh, it's not only for me to enjoy nada rasikano nariya kalakshetra people were the only in uh, you know people who could actually enjoy that mm. and a few audience who came every year lovers of kalakshetra but i would like you to listen to the music of papnasan shivan enna 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 oru paattu neenga dance um paakala enna parala at least on the music ni asahi tam tiger oda those dance dramas it was not one part two parts today in the market you don't have their compositions we have a whole you know two and a half hours three hours of dance dramas it is not available to you this is not a good thing this is for me this is something i'd like to share with the world mm. uh, but you will say that this is uh, this is detrimental why it should not be it was never shared so it should not be shared even after 75 years if you don't share that sutta with others these are not these legacies don't belong to us alone these are you know what our country it's our country's sutta correct and i feel everybody should be able to ac- uh, not access but at least listen to it appreciate it enjoy it research it so there are many aspects when you say change you know it's a very loaded a term and i think we did it very cautiously very i think we did it intelligently um we were progressing towards what kalakshetra should be which is an umbrella organization that you know uh, showcases the best of indian culture and shares it with others and also learning from others uh, atte was very magnanimous she always had others coming in if you notice that time mm. historically nariya per velindu ulla vandanga but you can see later in the history the interaction stops and then there's no interaction with other great artists even contra- contrary styles even uh, you know uh, that to me is is something wrong mm. so i tried to 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 you know return to those arte had laid down the guidelines very very beautifully she used to have people from abroad her friends philosophers gypsies anybody oh. who is beautiful people who came talk to the children uh, talked about their lives uh, they were people who who you know were so it was more cross cultural oh, totally and that's the way you you grow grow mm. yeah i me myself is not progressive mm. so we try to do what we could idu romba prove pandren thappa eduthukadinga idukku enna kaaranam ninga nenikkira illa adhavadhu endha tharuva illa endha oru kaala kattathila indha madri yaarukkum eduvum kaatakudadu share pannikakudadu avavalude individuality poidum nenachala illa namma expose pannina namakku vande mathavangalukku therinjiduthana namakku opportunity poidum nenachala what was the reason of everything a mm. bit of everything that you say but you know it's also attitudes uh, some generations ago uh, you know that our our mothers our grandmothers they always they always kept things they never got rid of them mm. they never also this it, these were attitudes but now when technology has uh, mm, you know completely changed our lives then uh, you know it's difficult to know how to behave like this mm. because um, sharing is part of knowledge now knowledge is is universal it's shared mm. you can access anybody else's uh, research papers and i can they can you know they should have a little entry into yours as well and there are norms of course but uh, it's better to lay down those accession norms rather than not i can say to you okay you know when you come your if you're a serious student of music will share some uh, some material with you would you like to see this dance drama for that you need to have it documented how do you first you have to document documentation ama so 
ஒரு ஆர்கனைசேஷன் எடுத்திருந்தாலே நிறைய டாக்குமெண்டேஷன் தேவைப்படுறது ஏன்னா இப்போது கூட நான் நிறைய ஆர்டிஸ்ட்டை கேள்விப்படும் போது ராஜராஜன் சோழ ராஜராஜ சோழன் காலத்து அந்த கல்வெட்டுகளுடைய டாக்குமெண்டேஷன்லாம் இருந்ததுனால தான் நம்மளால இவ்வளோ பழங்காலத்து தெரியுது ஸோ ஒரு அறுபது எழுபது வருஷத்துக்குள்ள இருக்கிற சமாச்சாரமே நமக்கு வரலன்னு இருந்ததுன்னா அது ஒரு சங்கடமான விஷயம்தான் அண்டு இன்ஃபேக்ட் அந்த கவர்மெண்ட் ரெகுலேஷன்ஸ் படி இப்போ பாரதியாருடைய பாட்டுக்கள் வந்து யார் வேணா பாடலாம் இல்லைனா யார் வேணா பப்ளிஷ் பண்ணலான்னு இருக்கு ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி பொன்னியின் செல்வன் எடுத்துட்டா கூட எல்லாருமே பப்ளிஷ் பண்ணலான் இருக்கு ஸோ டெஃபினட்டாக ஆர்டிஸ்ட்டுக்கு உண்டான மரியாதை அவளுக்கு உண்டான ராயல்ட்டிஸ் போய் சேரணும் அது தட் ஷுட் பி ஒர்க்ட் அவுட் பட் அட் த சேம் டைம் எல்லாருக்கும் கிடைக்கணுங்கிறது தான் ஆமாம் உங்களுடைய குவஸ்டாக இருந்ததுன்னு சொல்லலாமா நோ நோ சி தீஸ் ஆர் தீஸ் ஆர் திங்ஸ் வித் கம் வித் எவ்ரி ஜென்ரேஷன் ஐ ஐம் அ லேட்டர் ஜென்ரேஷன் டு டு பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் ஸ்லைட்லி மோர் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் ஐம் நாட் ஹேஸ் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் த ஜென்ரேஷன் ஆஃப்டர் மீ இஸ் ஈவன் லெஸ் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் ஸோ இதெல்லாம் இட்ஸ் அ கொஷன் ஆஃப் யூ நோ ஹூ விச் ஜென்ரேஷன் யூ பிலாங் டு அண்ட் ஹவ் யூ திங்க் ஆல்சோ ஹவ் மச் எக்ஸ்போஜர் யூ ஹேட் டு த வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் ஹவ் ஜென்ரஸ் யூ ஆர் you know it's a <laughs> yeah <laughs> ultimately in a philosophical as one parakum bodum edum eduthu varala pogum bodum edum eduthu pogum poradilla you can't do it you can't take anything yeah. but you can leave a lot behind absolutely in in very real terms you know mm. um, and that's what uh, rupniyamma did mm. she gave to many many of us she changed our lives and uh, it's our duty not to keep but to actually share that with others and do the same thing for others like the spiritual guru ra would say uh, the world will not remember you for what you had with yourself uh, what you but gave. then what you gave of course, to the world of course so it's really amazing so you've given uh, so much away to talakshetra and ipo the speculative a irukum bodu ellarkume sangadama irukku எல்லாருக்குமே மன கஷ்டமா இருக்கு ஸோ எனக்கும் மன கஷ்டமா தான் இருக்கு பட் யூனோ தே கம்ஸ் டைம் வென் யூ ஹாவ் டு மூவ் ஆன் அண்ட் ஐ ஹேட் அ குட் இன்னிங்ஸ் மேபி இட்ஸ் டைம் ஃபார் சம்படி எல்ஸ் டு டேக் இட் ஆன் ஐ ஹாவ் நோ ரிக்ரெட்ஸ் ஐ ஐ வில் ஆல்வேஸ் பி கன்சர்ன்ட் அபவுட் தி இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் பட் நோ ரிக்ரெட்ஸ் நீங்கள் லெட்ஸ் கோ டு யுவர் பாஸ்ட் ஏன்னா எல்லாருக்கும் அது தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும்னு அபிப்பிராயப்படுவேன் நீங்கள் ரொம்ப சின்ன வயசுலேயே கலாக்ஷேத்ராவுக்கு வந்தேன்னு கேள்விப்பட்டிருக்கோம் அப்போ உங்களுக்கு என்ன வயசு இருக்கும் ஒம்பது பத்து வயசுல ஒம்பது பத்து வயசு அப்பா அப்போ ஆஸ் அ கிட் நீங்கள் இமேஜின் கூட பண்ணி பார்த்துருக்க மாட்டேன் நீங்கள் கலாக்ஷேத்ராவுக்கு வரப்போறேன்னு சொல்லி திரும்பி ஒரு ஒரு பதவி இல்லை ஐ டோன்ட் திங்க் ஸோ இல்லை பட் அப்போ எத்தனை பீரியட்ல இருந்த அந்த ஒம்பது பத்து வயசு um uh, till i finished school mm-hmm. uh, initially were were r version and madras matricula inge mudichittu uh, then um, i actually by then had shifted over to kalakshetra as a full time course in bharatanatyam um apra konja college la delhi bombay poittu vande thirumi vandutta I came back and then I did another 6 years or so. Oh. Yeah, uh, okay. because by that time I was in the concert department and Athe okay. Oda Kunjo we all had the opportunity to work with her and I had decided to dedicate my you know that I would take up dance as a career. Mm. So um studies was sort of on a back burner. Mhm. Uh, I was interested I wanted to be a actually a surgeon i wanted to be a doctor okay adu nadakala na tattado panna aranjana adu konjam inge poyidhu but that was my my dream, my my dream yes okay adu nadakala okay but you can do many things with your hands you see correct samudra <laughs> podikla <laughs> instead of the scalpel <laughs> okay and the kulandai parvathil ungalku edavadhu nyapangal irukka swarasimana anubavangal I was very happy here. Okay. Very happy. Mm, I think that's a that's a good marker of uh, whether you're uh, studying or not studying or climbing trees. Um maybe I was happy because I was climbing trees which mm-hmm. I didn't have where, where I came from. I came from Pune. Uh I was in a convent it was a little more strict and um didn't have the world view and the philosophy of Kalakshetra. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand it then but I, um, 
I definitely felt I had found my my place. Mm. Um, so it was home. It was. It felt like home, though it was completely antithetical to who I, the family I came from. My father was in the services, mm. um, army, navy, la salute, thought boat, other la, other guru, other guru life. So Pune boarding school. I wasn't in a boarding school. I was in a day school. My day father school. was commandant of the National Defence Academy okay. in Karakwasla, Pune. Okay. Um, that was the time when was uh, one of his ADCs, one Mr. Rajan. He was a Nadiar boy. Okay. He said, uh, you know, there's this wonderful school, Besson School. Mm-hmm. Oh. My mother was interested in music and dance. Okay. So she, since I was the only daughter, child, daughter, they, they sent me. And they thought, she was talking of Shanti Niketan and he said, Illamanda, Kalakshitra is mm. much better. So on his advice, I came to Adyar. But after a year, when my father came back, he had gone to England for a course, senior officer's course. He came and said, I said, no, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a bit of a shock to them. Okay. I was very comfortable in Besson school. I loved school. I loved uh, dancing. Was it, oh, by the way, part uh, dance, all that was by the way. Okay. But I was just happy. So, what is the schedule? Is there school or school? There is a dance, there is a dance, Our co curricular activities were weaving and um, part, and it was a very idealistic, extremely um, simplistic uh, education, and yet very, very high, um, you know. I think uh, they tried to infuse in you the best of Indian culture mm. in the way you behaved, the mariyada and the other line. The naughtiness was, of course, very much part of it. Mm. As I say, they never stopped you from uh, Krishna, uh, Krishna uh, Ratnam sir and uh, a lot of principal sir. He never, the teachers complaining on the class, and the Maratla, right through the class. He never took that seriously. He said, mm. To me, your class is not good enough for them. <laughs> okay. So that is a completely different philosophy to what is it. it it's in a convent, you know. Mm. Uh, a convent in those days was a very strict mm. atmosphere. And so somewhere I was happier here. Okay. Yeah. So, all of integrated? Yes. Uh, um. It's always been a very integrated philosophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if, you know, hostel, getting up at 5 o'clock, washing your own clothes, or a dhyanam, or a chinna puja pano, armani ke. Just to say the Gayatri Mantra uh, early in the morning. Then after that, we had very simple tiffin. Kiro kanda dan chapno. In your own place, your own uh, plates, your own dishes, your own clothes. Even around Umbudhuva is Koran, they have to do the, or everything. Okay. Uh, the Aya may help them to talapendra the kavandhuanga, but otherwise, uh, and you know, the Akkas and Anna's help, it becomes like a family. Hmm. We, and then your whole education, uh, it's more in what they don't say. They, they used to teach us more by not telling you something oh. and by, you know, you you yourself had to understand that, oh, this is the norm. Okay. Uh, rather than by, by telling it, telling by it or step. writing it as these are the rules and yeah. <laughs> quiet people, very undercolor, very composed individuals, high thinking um, mm. people. So you learned to find your way and, you know, you used to have Gita classes in the evenings. So it was a complete and the part, the dance, painting was all, it was there. Even if you didn't do it, it was there. So you immediately imbibed some of the mm. spirit of it. Okay. So you could get into any class and uh, yeah. sit there? No, you, 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 you know, you sort of decided which you okay. wanted to do. But your roommate in the hostel could be a music student. Mm. So when practice practiced, 
நீங்கள் வந்து உங்கள் தியரி நோட்ஸ் ஷி வுட் லேர்ன் யுவர் தியரி யூ வுட் லேர்ன் அபி இட்ஸ் பவுண்ட் டு ஆஸ்மோசிஸ் லைட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் லைக் அ பிரதர் அண்ட் சிஸ்டர் கிரிக்கெட்டர் அண்ட் அண்ட் பாட் வீனா ஸ்டூடெண்ட் தே பவுண்ட் டு ஈவன் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் இஃப் ஷீஸ் இரிட்டேட்டட் பை ஹிஸ் constant <laughs> talk of cricket nandalo she learned something about <laughs> something amma <laughs> correct so, the terminology sir the one no ayyo so by osmosis uh, you learn and, uh, and the teachers were very very you know good role models they were very very they lived a life of simplicity and okay. uh, vegetarianism was very much part of our lives uh, looking after animals was very much part of our psyche uh, you know there was a the head of the um, mm. animal welfare board so all these things uh, they came very uh, you know quietly very surreptitiously okay ana they definitely affected your life you mm. couldn't have been any anything else but affected mm. M- more of uh, self introspection chalama ama that your philosophy was very much part of mm. the the to have various lectures by very very eminent speakers avanga paattu vandu pesu poiduvaanga appo purinjada appdin ke mama purinjadu appdin solla of course you didn't <laughs> but all that helps mm. because if somebody is talking about a theosophy or you know anything like that uh, even if you're 5 years old or 10 years old or 15 years old at some point you begin to realize oh idu va Uh, it's like the dance the music you only learned when you actually started teaching you guru evlo chonnalo seri but the day you have one kutti standing in front of you and you start teaching you say oh where should i start modala tattanuma modala avanga kanla paakanuma you know that <laughs> the learning actually begins at that point then you realize oh you in a very guru avanga ipdi solli kurtaanga really adishyama irukku நம்ம ஆமங்கள்ல நம்ம வீடுகள்ல எல்லாம் சொல்வாள நான் உனக்கு சொல்றது புரியாது உனக்கு ஒரு கல்யாணம் வந்து உனக்கு ஒரு குழந்தை பத்துக்கும் போதுதான் உனக்கு அதனுடைய தாற்பயம் தெரியும் நான் என்ன சொல்லித்தேன் அதாவது நீங்க மூணு பீரியட் பார்த்திருக்கீர் கலாக்ஷேத்திரால ஒண்ணு வந்து அந்த ஒன்பதுல இருந்து ஒரு ஆறு வருஷம் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஒரு வெளி உலகத்தை பார்த்துட்டு திருப்பியும் ஒரு ஆறு வருஷம் பண்ணினேன்னு சொன்னேன் அதுக்கப்புறம் இப்போது இருந்திருக்கல் ஸோ இந்த மூணு பீரியட்லேயும் என்னென்ன மாற்றங்கள் ஆர் என்னென்ன சே�்ஜஸ் நீங்கள் பார்த்தல் வெல் ஒன் வாஸ் அ பீரியட் விச் வாஸ் வெரி ஐடியலிக் அடையாரில் இருக்கிற ஒரு யூனோ வாஸ் அ சைல்டு யுவர் இன் அ நதர் மிஸ்டீரியஸ் வேர்ல்டு ஆஃப் ஆஃப் யுவர் ஓன் தாட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபன் அண்ட் பிளேஃபுல்னஸ் நத்திங் இஸ் தட் சீரியஸ் அண்ட் இட் வாஸ் அ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் அட்மாஸ்ஃபியர் இன் அடையார் um people who are who lived there and all the people who had the privilege of being there at that time mm. it was a very small institution and it was very beautiful the second period of course was uh, in tiramur there was a struggle there was larger mm. the land was amas but the Maybe trees yeah. trees were not there and there was a lot of um, you know it was like the institute was starting again and uh, after i have grown up i know that she had a big struggle at that period she mm. must have really had to um, must have been very hard for her to start kick start the whole thing again but she had very loyal people around her umbaraha anglo adapani then i spent 30 years of my life in delhi you know doing what i what okay. we all do which is teaching dancing choreographing writing Uh, you know interacting with other dancers so that was a wonderful period of growth for me met all the national level uh, artists of uh, who are now you know s- people i admire so greatly in all the styles uh, and the good thing about delhi was that uh, you didn't you didn't only meet up with bharatanatyam dancers and mm-hmm. carnatic musicians it was everybody and they all came and went and there was a wonderful um, uh, appreciation of somebody else's form Mm. somebody else's genre of work okay everybody is an artist analo you could he- hear the difference between a pakhavaj and a tabla and a pratangam and a ghatam mm. so these these things were important i think for me that was a great learning 
Delhi being the capital was a window of. Ah, uh, yeah, it was not a very cultured city, as you know. It okay. still is not, <laughs> but yes, it was a wonderful uh, place where the arts came and went, and there was, okay. it, there was a lot of interaction, hmm. um, healthy interaction, I would say. And many of the top artists, like Yamini Krishnamurti, Sonal Mansi, you know, actually lived there. So that was also something to you know look up to, aspire for. Um, my Madras visits were constant. I always came back to see Atte and Shankar Menon and all. And then this phase where I've come back after thirty years of experience outside the national and international level, inge vande to take responsibility. Um, and I say, as I say, I'm, I'm that middle generation which is caught between the elders and the youngers. Younger ones. I understand the young people very well. I, I, I'm very fond of them because I've taught that they're, you know, people of the age group of my students. Mm. So, thirty years of teaching taught me a lot. You know what you learn from children? <laughs> <laughs> Unparalleled learning. Unglikya ang chuli kurtrongay. I consider that actually very good learning. Okay. Uh, very good. I enjoyed my teaching. I love my students. Mm. And uh, so I brought with me that understanding of the youth. And uh, I think, uh, I don't think I had much problems in Kalakshetra with the, with the young ones. I think you have a lot of blend I tell. I love them. I like, I like their uh, openness, their, their honesty. You can guide them. Mm. But, and if they're faulting, you can, they do, like all of us. Uh, that is natural, but uh, uh, you cannot force, force something down their throat. You have to show them why it's beautiful enough for you to take. If you want or you don't want, don't take. No problem. Mm. You know, I think teaching should be like that. Mm. You have to be able to reveal why it is so beautiful. Problem. Mm. Uh, the choice will be theirs and they will they may not take it they may go 30 years around the world and come back and then say to you you know <laughs> not correct no, no, I don't I don't feel we have to be correct all the time mm. but we can certainly say that the beauty of it is not lost on them mm. and then they will realize that this is because it is in you see we also that something that is beautiful you can never take its beauty out of it mm. but Natim has a beauty irrespective of the forms the styles the dancers the individualities apart from that but Natim is just such an exquisite uh, form so even if I'm a bad dancer I can't take it I can't remove the beauty from it I, I'm a bad dancer, but not Bharatanatyam. Bharatanatyam is a wonderful form. So, then it's up to them. Mm. Of course, you have to be strict. Kalakshetra is very strict. It's a, it's a, from our time, it has been some very severe teaching patterns. And because of that, you get very good results. Mm. But... Um, how long that will you'll be able to do that? I'm not so <laughs> sure. If you are in the first time, you will dance teach. You will be able to do your performances as a dancer. If you are in the first time, you will be able to do that. We become better than that. If you are in the side management, automatically, you will be able to maintain your own life. That's why you will be able it's a little difficult actually. I, I feel if you're a performer, in hindsight, mm. see all of us taught because we financially required it. Mm. The shows didn't bring you uh, the money to survive as an individual. Mm. Um, I had, <clears throat> I wished to be independent for my parents. It's not that my parents didn't, were not there to support me, but I was not living with them. I didn't take any uh, financial help from them. I, I had that urge to be independent. Mm. You, you cannot survive on performance mm. uh, because the outgoings are much more than the inflow, Income, <laughs> some the <inflow>. bad <laughs> economics there. <laughs> <laughs> but teaching gave you that little stability and you mm. know, you. The, but teaching is very different. It's, I think a really good performer should just perform. 
Mm. You should somehow have the either the family or the government or the rich husband mm. or <laughs> <laughs> should be able to give them that <laughs> that uh, freedom to just be this prima donna. Yeah. And uh, some have it and most don't. <laughs> <laughs> so then you end up doing these things which are actually uh, detrimental to performing. Because in performance, see, once you sit down on the floor with that tickery in your hand, you become a very great guru. Uh, and you have that authority and the and the that to carry nala it's very authoritative it's like weapon. a magic one it's like <laughs> it's more like a general sword <laughs> okay <laughs> since i'm from the army i can <laughs> army navy background okay. it's a very authoritative uh, thing you can it, it, it's best if it were a magic wand well, okay but sometimes it i thought you could control with a magic wand like uh, you know, you could um, say something like the Harry Potter thing and say control. I, w- I wish it was that. It should be magical like that. But sometimes it wasn't. Uh, but um, see, a, a really good performer is actually a very selfish person or should be. Mm. Because it, the concentration is on the self, mm. on your body, on your mind, on the growth of your feelings, on your intellectual uh, growth. Adela, your performance is enhanced. You know, so in a sense, it's self selfish, mm. but in the giving, it has to be unselfish. This is the paradox of performance. Mm. Uh, you have to concentrate on yourself. I can't. I can't let my body go and then say, you know, Murile. I can't. I have to work that body, train it, sacrifice uh, all these things. Teaching is a very. Uh, you cannot be selfish in teaching. You have to. I give and you have to be very, you should be thinking about uh, educational processes, a child's development, all these kind of things, which is not part of performing. It's got nothing to do with performance. Teaching a child is a very, actually a very, uh, it's a very sensitive area. The fact that so many dancers have become teachers is actually very bad for the field because not all of them understand child psychology or educational processes or a pedagogic, uh, you know, processes. So, th- so I feel personally, uh, we could have done a disservice actually to many more people than is known. Mm. One or two come out who become good dancers. That's that's uh, your, you know, your your uh, ability or, and uh, yes, and a bit of luck and you know. But uh, many many bad teachers are there in the market and bad teachers I mean you know there are many young teachers who actually don't have enough idea about the context of the dance to to teach but they're teaching the physical form Mm. that is can be detrimental you have to give more than just the physical you have to be able to give talk about the temple architecture the the religious uh, impetus how it became what it became the rituals that uh, made it what it is. These are all very important. Uh, theory, language, the beauty of the language, the beauty of the poetry. How many languages can we know as an individual dancer? Sanskritana Sanskritam, uh, Telugu, Tamil, um, you know, now we, we perform in other languages. So, uh, Guru has to take, then Talam, Ragam, all this, how much can you can you do individually? That's mm. where Rukmini Devi had realized that you needed a multi-dimensional approach where the Pand- Sanskrit scholar was also there, Tamil Pandit was also there, the really great musician was also there, uh, the musician for dance was there, the Natwanar was there, the class teacher was there. Even Allah Sain the Unglakwandi made you who you are. And, uh, and the philosopher, the philosophy is also important. So I don't think a dancer can be always a wonderful teacher and I don't think necessarily the teacher is a good dancer. Some manage, I know this is very <laughs> controversial, <laughs> but I, I believe you can, one can be detrimental to the other. Hmm. So with all that, uh, on the management side and also the performing side, uh, 
நீங்கள் அவ்வளோ பிரமாதமாக எடுத்துன்னு வந்து யூ ஹவ் ட்ராவல்ட் ஆல் ஓவர் தி வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ கிவன் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ அங்கெல்லாம் எப்படி வரவேற்பு இருந்தது அதுக்கு ஐ ஹவென்ட் ட்ராவல்ட் அஸ் மச் அஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் மை கொலீக்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ஓகே ஐ ஐ வாஸ் ஐ ஸ்பெண்ட் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஐ டெடிகேட் மை செல்ஃப் வெரி ஸ்ட்ராங்லி டு மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஆல்சோ பெர்ஃபார்ம்ட் மோஸ்ட்லி இன் இந்தியா ஆக்சுவலி ஐ டென்ட் ஃபார்ம் டூ மச் அ ப்ராட் ஐ ஹேவ் ட்ராவல்ட் but not prolific okay and avanga uh, vande see there is no difference between one audience and another na vande adu othukamaten of course madras is madras and you know the ideal audience is let us say in the heart of mailapur that is there no doubt but uh, genuine love for art and uh, you know dance you can find even abroad you'll find some really some people who are passionate mm. and who may not know all the nuances analo anga vand they watch it with a sensitivity that sometimes is rare mm. and um, uh, so i'd like to think that actually every performance mm. is is important it doesn't matter whether you're performing in america or here okay நீங்க கிருஷ்ணா டிவியோடைய கிருஷ்ணசாமி அசோசியேட்ஸ்க்கு கூட நீங்க பர்ஃபார்மன்சஸ் பண்ணிருக்கேன் யூ ஹவ் கிவன் ஐ திங்க் வில் ஹேவ் சம் ஸ்னிபெட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இட் ஆல்சோ ஓகே
ஆரம்பிச்சேன் <laughs> 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 and there was another film a very short film made by ayn lal called um, um uh, called the flaring tree mm-hmm. which was also a film made by by her she was doing it on various art art forms musician a painter and a dancer and uh, so <coughs> um those were films that i was not i was just the protagonist i mean they they okay. yeah. as far as um Spanda's concern that is my baby okay. and uh, that was actually uh, just a foray into choreography a group choreography which i which i felt i i would like to do it was very uh, it was very strong impulse in me at that time mm-hmm. um because urupakam nanga vand solo bharatanatyam adu adoda repertoire tradition adu adu urupakam panindirundho rukmini atheyoda dance dramas adu urupakama நிறைய பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தோம் வி ஹேட் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி சாமரத்துலேருந்து அல்டிமேட்லி முதல் முதல் எங்கள் எங்கள் என்னோடய அப்பா வந்து ஆஃப்டர் அபவுட் எயிட் டென் இயர்ஸ் இன் கலாக்ஷேத்திர ஐ டோல்ட் ஹிம் ஐ ஹேவ் அ ரோல் இன் டான்ஸ் ட்ராமா ஸோ ஹீ கேம் டு சி இட் அண்ட் ஃபார் ஒன் ஹவர் ஐ வாஸ் அட் த பேக் புட்டிங் சாமரம் ஃபார் கிங் தசராத்தா ஸோ அவர் வந்து ரொம்ப சீரியஸாக வந்து கேட்டார் ஐ யூ தேர் ஆல் த டைம் ஹீ சட் <laughs> but did nothing <laughs> or nothing much but atte wo adak ipo she also used to joke and say see she was there right through other characters came and went <laughs> <laughs> so from that to playing some main roles mm-hmm. uh, that was a wonderful journey but i still felt that the opportunity to work with my students in group choreography was not mm-hmm. uh, was an area that i would like to explore mm-hmm. so spanda was a it was a was a foray into that area and with you know um, co- concepts uh, uh, concepts that were not part of these other two mm. uh, you see in dance dramas hierarchical structures are and in solo it's very i me myself but there are concepts let's say pre vedic uh, concepts of space of, uh, of of concepts like that which is a fun concept which is not part of these mm. and i felt we should be exploring this i also felt that a democratic approach to performance where all the dancers are equally responsible for the success of the show mm. it's not akka van the main role panindirukanga naanga edho vandu vandu ponom na ipdi vena pannalam that is not the approach everybody if i danced with my students each one of us was responsible okay. there was no main dancer in my work mm. we were all samameva yeah <laughs> so that was a wonderful experience actually and i did some um 10 15 pieces at that time which i'd like to revive now and now i have a little time uh, they were very uh, they were let's say modernistic expressions of um, mm. but the strength of bharatanatyam i tried to bring out mm. which sometimes as a soloist you can't and even as an as a character actor you can't but when you have a group of dancers you can bring out uh, the strength of bharatanatyam in a very different way mm. so i attempted that very abstract work spanda i seem to be um, attracted towards an abstractism which was okay. which was interesting super um ungalude ninga ninga nariya vaati ninga pesumbodhu na gavanichcha ninga students patti nariya chellindirundhal so what do you see in your students and ungalude uh, students la neenga romba sandoshama abhiprayam padrathu pathi chellu my students uh, <laughs> haven't taught now for over over 7 years okay. so it's it's a thing of the past uh, but my students are there 
that's a wonderful thing about teaching is that your students are always your, you know, there, they're always, whatever they're doing, uh, two of them have become actresses, somebody has done something else. Uh, whatever they do, many of them, two or three of them have become uh, contemporary dancers, modern dancers. Okay. So it doesn't matter. They were really good Bhatnajam dancers when they were with me and I enjoyed seeing that uh, uh, in them. Evolution. In but that they move into a new forest, you know, like a musician who becomes, uh, starts a studio, it's fine. It's not a problem because you need a good musician to be a good studio person. So either that, this is the thing about that, uh, is what I'm trying to say is that everybody doesn't have to be a soloist. Everybody doesn't have to be in Kalakshetra, you know, they have to find their own um, spanda and they have to, <laughs> they have to, they have to go ahead with what they're doing as long as they enjoy it and they do it well. Mm. So my students are always there for me. Now in a crisis, they are all ringing up. Are you okay? <laughs> so that's the beautiful thing about it. Okay. I don't have my own children, but all my students are really very loyal. And uh, and even the students of Kalakshetra are very close to me. And I I feel for them a little. Uh, uh, sometimes the teacher doesn't is not happy with that. Ah, na chunni ni vada ne akka kit peting la. <laughs> so they get schools, so there's that uh, thing, you know, as being director, I was not really, I didn't have my own class of students. All the students were my under my care. Analo, um, I couldn't intervene too much into what the teacher's um, domain. Domain, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mania, Nadana Asiriya, director, aprem writer, aprem choreographer, aprem elari mari nadi thi chollo kodi or. Simple roles la, ungulak abdi taniyao kandu paakam bodo, ungulak pidicha role enna. Ah, uh, I think a dancer. Hmm. I think a dancer and a teacher and a choreographer. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult to say, mm. you know, you can't say that uh, being a mother is more, uh, uh, you know, likable to being a wife or, uh, well, how can you say these things? <laughs> and you are, you're a wife as well, you're a mother, you're a daughter. So these things are, you <laughs> know, So, Maybe not administrator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For me, it was a learning experience. Mm, okay. um, yeah, huge learning. I'm very grateful for that. And also learning, you know, how uh, to interact with government and to adhere to the rules and regulations of government uh, uh, procedures. Uh, you may like it, you may not like it, but you learn that this is, this is how it functions. And uh, there's validity in that. Other uh, were a very definitive uh, um, structure, and you know, it, it makes you feel confident that the country, uh, you know, if, if if it runs according to the norms laid down, except there are too many, too many, too many of them. Uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> for you to remember, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it, it's been a wonderful learning experience. What's your plan henceforth? Now I'm uh, that wonderful space uh, uh, post retirement where you don't have to do anything. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can do what uh, whatever you like. Mm. It's like the back old days uh, yes. when you were in Adair. Yes, yes. <laughs> back old days. I should climb a tree actually. <laughs> back to that same. A uh, tamarind tree that I used to climb. Um, actually. Um, but I'm somewhere there. Mm. I, I feel I can I can go back to studying a bit. I need to study a little more. Um, I would love to um, love to do a bit of all these things that I was doing, but not necessarily full time uh, to enjoy my space and you know maybe just think and. Feel. <laughs> I'm going to chill, as the young people say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
மற்ற அனுபவங்கள் அதாவது கலாக்ஷேத்திரம் மட்டும் இல்லை அதுக்கு சங்கீத் நாட்டு அகாடமியுடைய அனுபவங்கள்லாம் இருக்குது அதை பற்றி சி சங்கீத் நாட் அகாடமி இஸ் அ இஸ் அ த ரோல் ஆஃப் சேர்பர்சன் விச் இஸ் அ லிட்டில் ஃப்ரைட்னிங் ஆக்சுவலி பிகாஸ் இட் கவர்ஸ் த டான்ஸ் மியூசிக் அண்ட் தியேட்டர் த ஹெல்த் ஆஃப் தீஸ் ஆர்ட்ஸ் இன் த கண்ட்ரி ஆஸ் அ ஹோல் இட் ஹேஸ் அ வெரி வைட் மேண்டேட் it's mm. a apex body that uh, uh, tries its best with whatever funds it has at its disposal to be democratic and magnanimous but to also keep certain uh, art forms alive to document certain forms uh, it's done a huge amount of documentation we're moving in the sangeet nat academy towards now making those documents um, uh, you know digitizing them and then making them accessible mm. uh, for research and things like that Um, Sangeet Nat Academy has a wonderful history and it's a post-independence uh, history but with very great people who uh, looked after its uh, working mm. and we're carrying that on recently the most uh, wonderful thing that we've been able to do is to give a hundred artists above the age of 75 we gave them awards across the country uh, and we were able to do that because of the Tagore um rabindra tagore 150th birth anniversary celebrations so we felt that many people had lost that opportunity of getting the uh, the sangeet nat academy fellowship and puraskar mm. uh, because there was a limited number always but but in this one year it's a one off uh, award that we were able to give many people so adu paneer ko um as cbfc chairman that's a very interesting area of films uh, especially in a country like ours especially today uh, the health the freedom of expression in films how far can you go mm. how much will the country accept uh, and which what a mumbai person accepts is not necessarily what somebody in the interiors in dharwar accepts so this dichotomy in india of um, of uh, you know uh, freedom of expression uh, violence uh, sexuality um, themes that matter documentaries uh, television shows uh, these are all very complex issues but one thing is that uh, for me again it's a huge learning experience is the vibrancy in that field and the of course the money um is it's an amazing amazing industry and wonderful wonderful people lot of young directors doing some very uh, classy work yeah yeah very classy work some great cinematography some great uh, editing some very good script writing now which was uh, you know for a long time given a go by adu thirumi vandirukku so i think we can look forward to some really great films now and we are already seeing some really wonderful films off beat films you must have seen kahani yeah, yeah. Uh, it was so, great film and um, uh, so many i mean i can't mention one or two but it's better not to but uh, in general uh, there is a there is a health and a vibrancy that has come back it's not about running around the trees anymore <laughs> uh, so <laughs> uh, very socially topical uh, mm. films have started coming out thought provoking thought provoking so good it it's uh, opens up the mind it opens my mind up as a classical dancer it's it's nice to have those inputs and not be snobbish uh, that only we have the answers to everything so it's it's, it's interesting and the controversies are also interesting a lot of court cases which, you know cbfc is the most maligned ella uh, all the dirt they throw on us avanga da idu cut pananga idu pananga it's not like that we are moving towards um, 100 years in of indian cinema next year and uh, what we want to do is actually just certify a good film a film mm. according to its category uh, the choice we would like the audiences to make mm. but this is an ideal idealistic situation up to now the country has been interventing they have been editing they have been slicing Mm. beeping enna na panna mudiyumo adha panni but as an artist i uh, i feel for the freedom of a, a person's expression if you feel something is important for your expression 
uh, I'm no one to actually say that you should not be able to say it. And the constitution allows you to say it. Mm. So that is important. However, if it impinges on the freedom of somebody else's thoughts, mm. then and that's where the, the, the problem is, that if I hurt your sentiments, hurting India, everybody gets hurt by every, everything. That's not a lot of people. But, uh, and we are extra sensitive. No jokes on me. So, in that case, there is a social atmosphere with a very far right and left wing thought process in, in place and politics and um, uh, casteism and all the problems that we faced. Then, you know, you have to be really careful. So that's where we come in. And it's very complex. Very complex problem. Interesting. Nice to be in a very complex situation at the moment. I'm completely, uh, you know, uh, completely engaged. Unlike uh, those happy days when I was a soloist where you never thought of anything. Only in the Tirmana Seriya. That's what spices up life. Well, it, it certainly educates you. Educates you. Yeah. Get into some trouble, but you get educated <laughs> as well. <laughs> ரொம்ப நன்றிம்மா அதாவது நீங்கள் ஆரம்பித்ததுலேருந்து எடுத்து நீங்கள் பேசினதில் நிறைய விஷயங்கள் நான் கற்றுண்டேன் நான் கற்றுண்டேன் நான் கற்றுண்டேன் நான் கற்றுண்டேன்னு சொல்கிறதுல நிறைய எல்லா ஆடியன்ஸுக்கும் சரி எனக்கும் சரி நிறைய கற்றுக்கிறதுக்கு கொடுத்தல் ஸோ உங்களுடைய பொண்ணான நேரத்தை இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணி இவ்வளோ விஷயங்களை ரொம்ப சகஜமாக பகிர்ந்துறதுக்கு எங்களுடைய மனமார்ந்த நன்றி உங்களுடைய பணிகள் மென்மேலும் தொடர எல்லாரும் சார்பாக எங்களுடைய வாழ்த்துக்கிறேன் தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் நமஸ்காரம்